hello i hope you're having a great day so today i'm going to start harvesting i have some surprise larkspur growing right here it's really pretty i think i'm gonna cut it today and see how it does i have this really cool blue allium I mean, it looks blue to me anyway so i'm gonna cut them and start harvesting what i can today and then i have a delivery and then back to weeding yay it's the worst job ever <laughs> for one of my vases. So this week I weeded at least three-fourths of an acre so far. <laughs> Yay! I'll turn you around and show you my fields that are weeded. I already see weeds popping up where I've already weeded, but we're not going to worry about that this week because I'm happy. I actually went through every single one of these little holes and pulled out the weeds even next to plants. So that has been a chore, but I'm hoping that the plants start overtaking the weeds and it's not as bad. Um, usually I think it's like two or three times of weeding like this. And then as the summer goes on, I either forget about it or the weeds just aren't as bad. I don't know. Last year, there were some areas that were neglected. I assume that will happen again this year. I do still have three rows in my longest, biggest field but they're kind of like iffy rows. They're perennials that I'm not sure if those are perennials coming back or weeds. So I've been putting them off, um, but I'll flip you around and give you a little tour. And I'm not saying I did the best job. I just made sure that my plants had the most sun. So I actually finally got some sweet peas that are coming up. <laughs> I think it might be too late. I think they like the cool. My anemones, they're getting dug up and kind of coming to end of life. So I didn't do that row as much. And this row is empty. It's for successions of amaranth or zinnias. Um, my tomato plants are looking pretty good. Oops, I forgot to weed around them. They're looking nice and big and strong out here. And then we get down here and my mahogany Splendor hibiscus is actually getting big enough to cut off and put into short arrangements, not quite tall arrangements yet, but even tall arrangements as like a base flower hanging over the vase, it's looking good. My gladiolas are all weeded and looking happier. My amaranth is starting to get really big. And then this is another empty section for successions of zinnias or whatever else. I might actually try to find Sweet Annie again. It smells so good. I'm already loving it. This is my first year with it and it's so pretty. Um, I put some dahlias in there. I kind of weeded around them. I didn't do the best job. I don't care about them as much. That is gomphrena and succession gomphrena. And then right now I have zinnias, some mahogany splendor hibiscus and another area for succession planting. 
and in this field there are a lot of things so I have status and down here I have cosmos I have a whole row of snapdragons we're getting 90 degrees soon and they are going to hate it why can't I remember what I put in with my status the asters are starting to get some height on them so this is just asters and status oh there's a weed maybe oh no that's some status maybe it looks like a weed blue sea holly i have a little space right here where i can put a succession of something and then here i had room for pink spires i put some zinnias and then snapdragons and i left a few amaranth that look like bachelor buttons sunflowers no bachelor buttons zinnias solutia bells of ireland sunflowers frosted explosion grass sunflowers all are looking pretty good they're starting to grow my ageratum is starting to get pretty big and bushy that's exciting and then i have my lisianthus basil and then stock and over here i've got all of my peonies weeded and then i got all of my lavender weeded some of the lavender is definitely coming back it's starting to grow um it's not looking that great. Maybe next year will look better and some of it is not gonna come back. So luckily I still have a lot of plants that are growing in this section. So I can steal and fill in where it's dead. I did notice, I'm kinda sad, my scabiosa did not make it. Um, I don't see really any plants really for scabiosa, maybe a few. My salvia is actually coming in. It must just come in in the middle of June. I didn't realize that. I probably am lucky I didn't pull it, but some of it is coming back. The pink spires came back sooner. Oh my gosh, the bees are loving the pink spires. Salvia. And this is a row that needs weeded. I did get my entire yarrow row weeded and most of my yarrow is coming back. So that's exciting. Um, there are a few empty holes, but not that many. And I have another whole tray of it. This is one of the rows that needs weeded. And then this row up here is the one that I put mulch around and my pink cone flowers started coming in. And I got to about here with weeding. So I have three rows left of this field and that is it, which is less than, it's probably less than an eighth of an acre even. Um, yay! I don't want to do it again. Maybe I'm going to have to find help next time. But I have been kind of leaving some stuff go because I'll turn you around. For a while, I thought these were weeds, but they're not. They're my Rebecca. <laughs> um, that's a weed. But all I have left is this little bit to weed. And there's a lot of plants coming up. And then this was supposed to be something that didn't come back. So I've been kind of waiting because that salvia showed me that things come back later. So today is Thursday. Tomorrow's the day that I harvest and get ready for the farmer's market and put farmer market bouquets together. So I won't probably be getting any of that weeded. Um, I do have some time today to work on it. I'm guessing I could get those three rows done. I don't know what I was saying, but... My phone got too hot and it just shut off and said it had to cool down. So now I'm in the shade and it's cooling down. But yeah, so that's exciting. Um, I know last year I was weeding every single week and I would just do like two rows on Monday, two on Tuesday, two on Wednesday and like so on. Um, but I did do one big batch like this at first and then I went to that after I had it under control. So I might have to try to do that again. <laughs> just to stay on top of it um it is a lot more i doubled in size so i might have to add a row and even when i started harvesting it kind of got out of control i'm hoping that this succession planting helps with that last year i planted everything and so i couldn't even stay on top of the zinnias or the cosmos 
I mean, because I had planted it all at once. And so I just had rows and I mean, I would cut buckets and buckets and I couldn't even sell them and I couldn't keep on top of cutting them and weeding. And so that's why I did the succession in smaller sections this year, but now I'm having to weed all the holes, which I guess if I like had a tractor and I could just till it anytime I wanted to till it, then I could potentially just do a section and then wait and then till and put my black stuff down and do my succession. That might be faster because then I don't have to weed like rows that don't have anything in it. But for now, um, that's what I'm doing. I just, I got it all ready. Um, you know, maybe I could even throw some cardboard over it with like, and hold it down with my logs or something. Always thinking of ways to do it better and to be more efficient. <laughs> But I'm excited tomorrow I get to actually cut some flowers and put bouquets together and quit weeding. I do love harvesting my flowers and going around the field and doing that. Um, I'm just not as big a fan of weeding. I don't know anyone that really likes the weeds. So, you know, there's that. But it is a beautiful day today. And I just got out here and I might, before I go home, do another half row over there. But I wanted to make sure to get you guys an update. I feel like I always like get done and I'm tired and I jump in my car and I'm already in town. And I'm like, I never gave them like an end of the day update and, and say goodbye. Have a great day. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um, I took you on a little garden tour. Things are starting to grow. It's getting exciting. It's exciting to talk to people like my... Um, like the florists that are buying my flowers, it's exciting to talk to them because they're excited to get like different things of mine. And I just, I can't wait to be able, I have one florist that wants to come and just see all of my flowers. Um, and I had to say, well, there aren't really any flowers because I cut them all and I've been selling out for the most part. Um, I'm gonna have to find some more spring or put up a high tunnel so that I can grow more stuff this time of year because I seem to be running out. And I know in like three weeks, I probably won't be running out anymore. But anyway, that's kind of my update. I can't wait to set some stuff up and we'll, I'll put, I'll line them all up again and we can decide which one's our favorite. I have a lot of fun with that. I hope you guys do too. And I hope everybody has a great day.